Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Merci. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Just great to see uh, these uh, familiar faces from uh, all over the province and indeed all over the country. And, and there it is, right there, on either side of us. The maple leaf. The symbol that inspired me for my first steps on this land. For all of us, a, a symbol of strength, a symbol that unifies, one that empowers, a symbol that unites the imagination in all of us. La feuille des arbres, un symbole de puissance et de l'unité. You know, just over 50 years ago, I vividly recall seeing this symbol of hope as my parents and I landed at the airport, not that far from here. Now, around the same time, there was this new national flag. The Maple Leaf was born. And I have known ever since that our Maple Leaf and our country, the true North, strong and free, stood for freedom, stood for liberty, justice, and democracy here at home and to the farthest reaches of the world. Le Canada, avec cette feuille d'arabe, a toujours symbolisé la liberté et la démocratie, a symbol that has since motivated my and many other service to community and to country. And I want to thank you, Brad, for your confidence and for your service for Canada. Let's give Brad another round of applause. And hello, Mississauga. Hey, hey. Yeah. What, a, what an amazing crowd. Uh, the energy, the diversity, the youth, the optimism, and the promise of tomorrow for our party and for our country, Canada. Je suis excité par l'énergie, la jeunesse, et l'optimisme pour notre parti et notre pays. And as some of you may have guessed, I have a little announcement to make. But first, first, don't worry, in time, let me describe how I got here. How our country throughout her 149 year history has been a land of boundless opportunity. Tout à long de notre histoire de 149 ans, ce pays a été une terre de possibilités illimitées a nation that has accepted so many, accepted so many, who simply want a better life for themselves and their kids. Regardless of how long you've been here, for days or for generations, I know we agree on this. We live in the best country in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Country, uh, a country that has proven itself throughout our history to be a steadfast ally and a generous friend in time of need. Le Canada, an allié indefectible et ami fiable en, en cas de besoin. A country that has accepted so many with one mission, to undertake the apprenticeship of citizenship in the greatest country on earth. Now back to my story. Uh, after we emigrated, I was raised by a single mom, my mother, Carol, sitting right there. But both my parents and my stepdad taught me the values of hard work, playing by the rules, and the worth of family and community. Yet, of course, while being a patriotic Canadian first and foremost, I am proud of my immigrant heritage, Greek on my father's side, and a maternal grandmother of Syrian Jewish birth. And like so many of you, I have the special privilege of being called dad to three wonderful kids. Alex, who's here today, and Max and Alexa are my pride and joy. They keep me motivated and grounded. 
And Lynn and I have joined in the challenges and joys of parenting and know, as many of you do, why these sleepless nights are all worth it. Thank you, Lynn, for being my partner in this great adventure. And it's for them and for all of our children, I want to empower the next generation to succeed in a country that is succeeding. I'm blessed to have those immigrant values, those family values, those economic values instilled in me through my life's journey. But they are Canadian values. They are our values. Values that represent the highest aspirations of Canadians, young and old. Hard work and personal accountability. Enterprise and freedom. Family and community and equal opportunity for all. Values that Lynn and I have raised our incredible children on. Values that I was brought up with from those early immigrant days in Hamilton in a small upstairs apartment. Values that are strongly embraced across my beautiful riding of Perry Sound Muskoka. Thank you, mayors, for being here. Perry Sound Muskoka, let's give them a hand. Harry Sound, Muskoka, a set of communities that I remain indebted to for giving me the mandate, the mandates, to drive those values forward. La famille est au corps que je suis. Uh, J'ai été élevé par une mère monoparentale, mais mes deux parents m'ont appris la valeur de travail, la responsabilité personnelle, la liberté et la valeur de la famille et de la communauté. Les valeurs que ma femme et moi avons transmis à mes trois beaux enfants. I'm here today. I'm here today because I share your pride in country and, of course, our optimism for the future. I'm here today because of you. Because you. Our grassroots remain the driving force behind my mission to empower our members, our supporters, our neighbors, our fellow citizens, to realize the God-given potential in us all. Notre base demeure la force motrice de ma mission pour permettre à nos membres et nos concitoyens de réaliser le potentiel en nous tous. Friends, as someone who came from humble beginnings, as a former small business owner, and as a tested public office holder, as one of the earliest leaders in uniting the right, and who has throughout my life been an unapologetic, principled conservative, I'm proud to announce my candidacy for the leadership of the Conservative Party of Canada. Répéter en français. <laughs> Dans notre pays, c'est uh, uh, nécessaire, et, mais c'est un plaisir. Je suis fier d'annoncer ma candidature à titre de chef du Parti conservateur du Canada. Thank you, thank you. That's, that's, uh, I'm so, so grateful. I'm so humbled. I'm so energized. And I want you to know your energy is what's driving me forward to assume the leadership our party and our country need, the experience and leadership to keep our economy strong and our country safe. And here we are in my old stomping ground of uh, Peel Region, where uh, a place where I used to live and served as MPP for many years, representing a community. This community represents and reflects the pluralistic, rich nature of our country. And again, yes, absolutely. And let me say a little bit about Brad. Brad, uh, Brad is, of course, hosting us today. 
And Brad was elected in Mississauga Streetsville in 2011, ending a streak of three straight liberal victories. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So let me be clear. The battleground writings like this one will dictate who forms the next government. This community is like so many others across the GTA, across Vancouver, Montreal, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Halifax, many others. And friends, I am that leader who represents, who represents the experience and the innovation, who can win back the trust of Canadians in suburban and urban communities alike across this land. Mes amis, je suis le chef qui peut représenter l'expérience et l'innovation, qui peut regagner la confiance des Canadiens et Canadiennes dans les communautés urbaines et les banlieues à travers le pays. Tested and ready today to earn back the confidence of families, of millennials, of moms and dads, of urban and rural Canadians, of small business leaders and seniors who want government to be an empowering force for good, for greater prosperity and more opportunity. I am your leader. Yeah. For a better, for a better quality of life, from health care to the environment, I am your leader. For, For the security, for the security of our people and defense of our values, I am your leader. For the experience this position demands, tested, trusted, and ready, my name is Tony Clement, and I am your leader. Je suis. Uh, Je suis votre chef pour une plus grande prospérité et plus d'opportunités pour une meilleure qualité de vie et pour notre sécurité. Now, I'll tell you what Canadians don't want. I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a bigger, one-size-fits-all tax-and-spend liberalism. They don't want that. They don't want impediments to their individual success and freedom. Ce que les Canadiens et Canadiennes ne veulent pas Est un gouvernement plus grand, une taille, à taille unique, qui impose et dépense comme les libéraux des entraves à leur succès et à leur liberté individuelle. So this writing, this writing reflects the young spirit of our country. It is comprised of so many young moms and dads, of parents, of working taxpayers. I am the leader who understands these communities, who can reach them, who can speak to their aspirations and empower them to achieve them. I will usher in an optimistic modern conservatism that appeals to urban Canadians, first-time voters, newcomers, while preserving those values that unite us. Je vais inaugurer un conservatisme optimiste et moderne qui peut parler à leurs aspirations, leurs habilités et leur donner les moyens de les atteindre. Over the past few months, I've listened very carefully to so many members of our party and to everyday Canadians on your priorities. And what I've heard from you is the foundation of what I will champion in this campaign. First, First, I will empower our grassroots to move us forward. Je vais habiliter notre base afin de nous faire avancer, supporter avec les outils, la formation et les ressources pour gagner. Loyal members like yourselves, you deserve to be listened to. And let me be clear, under my leadership, we will support our members and our writings, all members, and all ridings with the tools, the training, and the financial resources so that we can win in 2019. Here, 
No riding will be left behind. No riding will be left behind. Second, we will empower our caucus to lead. Je vais activement rechercher la façon de continuer la vie de notre caucus et les habilités à mener. We have, you know, a friend, a, a, an incredible team of women and men who represent hardworking Canadians across this land. And I will lead by example by actively seeking out the views of our candidates and our caucus and the priorities of their constituents. And by doing so, our party remains in the hands of our members, who after all have been the backbone of our past successes. Next, we must empower the next generation to achieve their potential. Nous devons également habiliter les prochaines générations pour réaliser leur potentiel, y compris hashtag millénaire, les électeurs qui votent pour la première fois et les, les nouveaux arrivants. I will empower and connect with the next generation of voters, new immigrants, hashtag millennials, hashtag first-time voters, <laughs> using every medium available to reach those audiences. You know, I understand and utilize the power of social media every day. In fact, my first draft of this speech was less than 140 characters long. <laughs> Maybe you want to hear that. I'm going to tell you. Hey, at Justin Trudeau, your days are numbered. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag CPC, hashtag empower, hashtag Canadian Poly. Mon discours d'origine était en moins de 140 caractères. Hey, Justin Trudeau, vos jours sont comptés. And I mean it. Just as I appreciate social media, I also understand the strength of third language media in reaching Canadians. And I will continue to focus on those platforms to not only reach, but ultimately win over those voters. And friends, I will empower all Canadians, all Canadians, to unleash their God-given potential. Under my leadership, we will focus on enabling their successes, and we will focus in on those conservative convictions that create the conditions for your success. This is my commitment to you, to build on my record of success in eliminating waste in government. Now, while I was president of the Treasury Board, I was proud to have led a cross-government spending review, along with my dear friend, the late Jim Flaherty, and former Prime Minister Stephen Harper. That saved not $5 billion, Brad, $10 billion every year for the taxpayer. Yeah, yeah. That's what we did. It helped us, it helped us balance our budget one year ahead of schedule, while allowing us to invest in our people through lower taxes and targeted investments. Friends, let there be no mistake. I am running on my experienced record as an economic, common sense conservative that ignores no voter, that respects all Canadians, that focuses on the pocketbook issues that Canadians care most about. That's why I'm running. Je me présente sur ma feuille de route en tant de conservateur de bon sens économique qui ignore aucune électeur qui respecte tous les Canadiens et Canadiennes qui met l'accent sur les questions économiques que les Canadiens se soucient le plus. And that includes cutting taxes and, for example, simplifying our tax form, our tax form, you know the tax form, to one page. Here, here. One page. <laughs> Je vais réduire vos impôts et simplifier notre formulaire d'impôts à une page. Simple, cost-effective, efficient for the end user, our taxpayers and our small business operators. Nous allons respecter l'argent des contribuables. We will respect taxpayer dollars, and we will do this in the name of good government. 
when it comes to defending your money, your money, I will be your tireless tax fighter. You can count on it. I will end the waste, end the waste and the liberal special interests that spawn it. And we need government to do what families across the nation do every single day, spend within its means, accomplish more with less, respect the taxpayer, and not do things the private sector can accomplish better. My plan will be focused on creating the conditions for Canadian taxpayers to save more of their income, invest in their futures, and grow their small businesses. No longer will we burden enterprise and innovation and crush productivity with liberal taxation schemes, with liberal regulation, and liberal red tape. That is my promise to Canadians. A Clement government will unleash Canada's potential. It will advance our productivity agenda. It will empower industry to innovate. We will create a competitive and predictable business climate that attracts investment, drives growth, and instills confidence in the marketplace. Je vais libérer le potentiel du Canada en faisant avancer une programme de productivité et habilitant l'industrie à innover. Dès mon premier jour en poste, le premier jour, je promets de mettre fin à la guerre de Justin Trudeau contre les contribuables et les créateurs d'emplois. And on my first day in office, my first day, I pledge to end Justin Trudeau's war on taxpayers. That's what we'll do. Now, I did mention, I did mention Justin Trudeau. Don't get me started on Justin Trudeau. That will be for another day. Don't worry. Don't worry. Lots of time. But I wanted to explain to you my plan to win in 2019. Let me just talk a little bit about the world stage, too, because we want to be the party that empowers the forces of good over evil. Sur la scène mondiale, nous choisissons d'habiliter les forces du bien sur le mal. And we will stand up for our values and stand by our friends. You know, liberal foreign policy already is nothing more than all about pleasing foreign governments from Tehran to Moscow. Not under my watch. Here, 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 here. Two, to the religious and ethnic minorities facing genocide at the hands of ISIS, we stand by you. Here, here. To those who long for freedom from oppression, targeted because of their faith, ancestry, ability, color, creed, gender, orientation, or cultural heritage, we stand with you. Just as we, just as we stand with the courageous, freedom-loving people from Ukraine to China to Israel. Under my leadership, we will cease from being a so-called honest broker, whatever that means, when the choice is between extremist ideologies versus our democratic values. And we will stand up and never sit on the sidelines in the fight against extremism and terrorism. That is my promise to you. As uh, conservatives, we choose democracy over tyranny. We choose freedom over oppression. We choose a Canada that never forgets our veterans and our current serving members who put their lives on the line for our security and for the global advancement of freedom. Nous choisissons un Canada qui n'oublie jamais nos anciens combattants et les membres actuels de nos forces qui mettent leur vie en danger pour notre liberté et notre sécurité. Friends, I want to thank you for joining me here tonight. I am truly inspired by your support as we start this amazing journey together.
Mes amis, je vous remercie de vous joindre à nous ici ce soir. Je suis inspiré par votre soutien en amassant ce voyage ensemble. I believe, I believe within my core, that Canadians will have a choice in 2019 between two types of government. One that restricts the pursuit of life, liberty, and security of the person, or one that empowers all Canadians to succeed, to better the lives of their families and children. I know which side I'm on, and I know which side you're on, too. So join me as we empower our country to realize the limitless future on the horizon. Across our vast northern frontier, from the Rockies to the Laurentians, to city streets, the prairie sky, from the Atlantic to the Arctic to the Pacific. Un avenir où nous pouvons habiliter tous les Canadiens et Canadiennes à réussir. So here's to, here's to our amazing country, Canada, and to the empowering leadership our party needs to win again. If that's Justin Trudeau, tell him I'm busy. <laughs> Our amazing country, and to the empowering leadership our party needs to win again. We will be there together, ensemble, as the great national creation that is the Conservative Party of Canada that helped create this country that was at the creation of this country. And we know, as Conservatives, that Canada's best days are yet to come. Good night. May God bless you all. Merci. Bonsoir.